Tesla record sales in China. But before we will dive into this video about massive Tesla stock news and new stock news, expand stock news, let's intro. TND Finance, helping you making better financial decisions. Subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. So let's get started. So last month, Tesla could sell about 22,000 vehicles in China. That's a new record for Tesla. And that's about an increase of 80% compared to the previous year. So next year will be a very interesting year for Tesla because Tesla will ramp up the production at the Giga Factory Shanghai at a full speed. Smash the like button for no reason. Tesla just started offering a one year of free supercharging to boost their sales. And for the current quarter, they plan to deliver about 180,000 deliveries. It's super ambitious. So I personally don't think that they will achieve it. So maybe around 150,000 deliveries. Besides, Tesla just expanded their supercharging network to up to 20,000 units globally. So Tesla will do literally everything to achieve their target. So the next Tesla stock news is the partnership with LG Chem. So currently Panasonic is the only battery supplier or one of the few battery suppliers and Tesla wants, well, they will diversify their battery suppliers to another partner. So in order to strengthen their battery supply, because without battery, Tesla would be in very deep trouble. And with this new partner LG Chem, they will produce for, the, for Tesla the new 4680 cell technology. Any questions so far, feedbacks or comments, just leave it in the video description below. Another massive Tesla stock news is the S&P 500 inclusion, and that will happen on 21st November 2020 at around 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And Tesla will make up about 1.5% of the whole S&P 500. And right after the inclusion, Tesla will be bought around 80 billion US dollars worth of Tesla shares. So that will increase the Tesla stock price real quick. Besides, check out the video description. There are some interesting and useful information for you. Let's have a quick look at the Tesla stock price target real quick. So this price target is for the next 12 months. And this graph is a summary of 34 analysts. And the highest Tesla stock price target is 800 US dollars, which I personally don't agree with. That's why I have an extra video about the Tesla stock price target for next year. And according to me, it is 4,000 US dollars. So there's a separate the stock price target playlist for that, which you can, you can find on my YouTube channel after watching this video. So let's have a further look on the institutional shareholders. So investment firms that bought Tesla shares. So capital research management is one of the biggest, it is the biggest shareholder. They bought around 50 million shares, which equals to about 30 billion US dollars. The second biggest investment firm is the Vanguard Group. And the Bailey Gifford is the third biggest Tesla shareholder. And Bailey Gifford is also one of the biggest investment firm worldwide. And they have around 20 billion US dollars worth of Tesla shares. And as you can see here on the graph, it is red because they sold Tesla shares in the previous quarter. But never mind about that one because Tesla stock price is still going up, which I will show you here in this chart. So as you can see here on the chart, the Tesla stock price increases months after months. And when, as you can see here on the technical, there is a strong buy. The market capitalization of the Tesla company is at around 660 billion US dollars. So it is still the most valuable car maker in the world. The PE ratio, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. It's at around 
1000 over 1000 so many people argue that it is way overvalued but actually in my point of view it's not the case because people buy the tesla stocks like hotcakes so tesla stocks is in high demand and that's why it drives this p ratio higher so it's just based on supply and demand nothing else so let's have a further look into the tesla stock chart as you can see here on the on this one year chart you can see this red trend line and the tesla stock price is going up month after month so it didn't it didn't went to the trend line so it's still an upward trend and according to rsi technical technical indicator it is at around 72 which means tesla stock is overbought so it also means that in the coming days and weeks the tesla stock price will tumble a little bit there will be a, a pullback will be but in the long run I expect the Tesla stock price to go even higher. So let's talk about new stock real quick. Here's a massive new stock news. Biden appoints Brian Dees as his national economic advisor. And Brian Dees himself is invested into new stock. And Brian Dees also works for BlackRock. And BlackRock is the largest investment firm of the whole world. And BlackRock is also invested into NEO stock, which means they will make NEO fairly easy to come to the States to sell the NEO vehicles, NEO EV cars, which will drive the NEO stock price even higher. And another massive NEO stock news is that they will very likely reveal the new NEO sedan on the NEO day on January the 9th. And have, look at this, it looks really badass, this, this Neo sedan, looks really good. So currently, on the, as you can see on the website, they sell only SUVs. So three different SUVs, all SUVs, which is quite interesting. I didn't know that, that they didn't diversify their vehicles yet, but they will do it. So currently they uh, only sell their SUVs, and even with only SUVs, they sell one of the most car deliveries compared to their other competitors like Xpeng. So you can expect a massive car, EV car deliveries from NIO once the new NIO sedan will arrive. So let's have a quick look at the NIO stock price target real quick. So the highest price target according to analysts is around 400 US dollars, which I personally disagree with. According to me, the new stock price target for next year is 550 US dollars. You can find this video on the stock price targets playlist, which is also on my YouTube channel. So you can watch it after this video. And the three biggest institutional shareholders of NEO stock of NEO is Bailey Gifford with around 5 0.5 billion US dollars, BlackRock, as I mentioned before, 1.7 billion US dollars, and the Vanguard Group, which is the second biggest investment firm in the world, with about 1.5 billion US dollars. So the, the three biggest of them combined have around 20% of NEO stock. So this is quite something quite massive. So let's have a look, quick look at the NEO stock chart real quick. So on Friday, a few days ago, which was 18th, yeah, 18th December 2020, the new stock price was at around 47 US dollars. And as you can see on the technicals, it is a buy. And the market cap is at around 60 billion US dollars. So it is even more valuable than Ford, Porsche, Ferrari, etc. And if you look at the chart, you can see here this trend line, the red line. You can see the NEO stock is still on the upward trend line. And according to RSI technical indicator, it is at around 55. So which means it is not overbought at all. It also means that this stock price, the NEO stock price, will continue rise and increase. According to YouTube, you should watch the video on the left side of on the screen next.